Hello, my name is Richard Suderman. We're in eastern Guatemala at, uh, at, the, uh, at a Bethania Hospital, a hospital for uh, malnourished children. The facility here uh, gave me the opportunity to come and do some agricultural work on, uh, on their site, some research. Uh, my interest is very much in, in uh, uh, sustainable uh, agriculture, or a system of agriculture that's sustainable, <coughs> which uh, is very heavily focused on uh, uh, maintaining soil or, or a level of organic material in the soil. What we did here is we've established this, uh, it's actually a, family, a peanut family plant, and what we're getting is like a good shade cover for the ground. And, and underneath, like here, we've, we've had sunshine all day and, and, this, and the soil is, uh, is very nicely moist. So, uh, and, and so we, we hope with time we can maybe produce some tomatoes or something else in that same area. But first of all, we've established this. We, we added a, a large amount of, uh, of, of coffee shells and some chicken manure to, to get a natural uh, balance of fertility. And now uh, we've got the, it's a, an ornamental peanut actually that, uh, that we've got there that's uh, given us that uh, uh, cover for. And the same on this side. We've, we've added a few flowers. I've tried some tomato, uh, um, cucumbers in the same area. Uh, so just again, it's some, just some trials to, uh, to, to build a, a, a work on building a soil that's sustainable. <coughs> Uh, here we've, uh, this is ma uh, a malanga, it's a, it's a root crop, like, uh, much like camote, it, it produces a, a vegetable, a large vegetable, like a, a bigger than a potato, it's, it's not, a, not a potato, but anyway, we established the, the camote here and, and hope, and also, oh, and also gave the, uh, can I get down there to, uh, to show the, the mulch that we we like we leave a, a, a layer of, of mulch, which uh, again keeps uh, keeps moisture in and decomposes and produces more organic uh, material for uh, for for the plants and enriches the soil. <coughs> We're uh, in a process of establishing some uh, a bit of terracing. It's not a, a strong slope, but but when we get heavy rains, the water just wants to wash down and, and leave the site. And then and we've we've done this a bit of. Uh, Ditching to uh, to hold back that water so we can we can we can take advantage of it uh, when it does rain. Uh, uh, we in this area we get very a very small amount of rain or virtually no rain from uh, December to to May. So uh, they uh, they call this the corredora uh, seco or the the dry corridor, which uh, it's it's very crucial. It gets extremely dry here in the. Uh, we're in the month of May right now, and we did have one rain uh, early on in the week, so very thankful for that. But uh, May is generally when the when the rainy seasons come. <coughs> Let's go uh, a little bit further. <coughs> here, what uh, what what we built with uh, with the boys here is a, the. Uh, uh, what, what was happening is that when we get heavy rains, all that water from up in the parking area and from these roofs and stuff would go, would go rushing down the hill and it had washed out a, a huge gully and it would run across the property and out the back and the water is lost. So <coughs> what we've done here is I, I, we built this little holding area so that when we get a, at least a moderate rain, we, we can't deal with like those uh, uh, torrential rains of like uh, 30 centimeters in a few hours or something like that. Almost nothing works, but, but at least if we get several inches of rain, the water comes pouring down. This thing, actually, this area actually just fills up with water. And, and, and this is like, a, like a, a holding pond, a filter actually, that, that allows the water to be dispersed uh, uh, slowly. When it overflows, it's, I mean, it, it, it'll flow over there and it'll flow over to this side, but, but at least we can, we can slow that water down and we can hold it in our, in our area long, for a longer period of time. <coughs> Uh, here we we built a retaining wall again to stop uh, stop that erosion. Maybe if you come come down here and we'll just make a turn. Uh, we we built this retaining wall that's got like over 500, I think like 700 tires, and it still needs more work uh, to uh, uh, to hold that that soil back and to uh, 
to keep uh, to keep it from continuously eroding, and it was actually beginning to threaten uh, the uh, construction here, where the water just continues to eats away at the at the soil. So, and on the other side here, we've uh, uh, we've got a, a layer flock of, uh, of 300 uh, uh, brown egg layer chickens. Uh, they spend quite a lot of their time outdoors uh, picking at worms and, and insects and stuff and, and then we feed them a, a ration in the mornings inside. Um, so again working on a, on a sustainable system where we, we live in harmony with we're part of, of God's creation as humans and we're, we're trying to work in harmony with, with the rest of nature to, uh, to sustain ourselves and, and also sustain, uh, uh, sustain uh, animals. Uh, the idea is to use all of this to teach, uh, to teach the locals of what they could do on, uh, on their own uh, small farms. All of, all of this area uh, is made up of very, very small far subsistence farms of uh, probably a hectare or two hectares is a, a fairly large farm already, so it's all, it's all at a, a very uh, low level. Um, here we've, uh, uh, the soil was extremely eroded and, and polluted. We cleaned up a lot of garbage that have been left for, for years and years. And, and now we've got a growth of, uh, of grass, or uh, sacate they call it, a, 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 a tropical, uh, or brachiaria is another term for, for uh, uh, tropical grass. So again, we want to use that grass to hold back water, to, uh, to uh, fix the soil. The uh, grass produces a tremendous amount of roots, and all of, all of that root material will become organic material for, uh, for future, and it, it heals, it actually has a healing process for, for uh, polluted soils. Uh, here, this is this is Kamote. It's, uh, we, we're getting some results, but uh, of plant growth, but we don't have uh, we we haven't been able to produce fruit uh, from it. I think it's mostly maybe because of shade or uh, depleted soil conditions. Um, maybe we could just go a little bit further. Here too, we've we've established these uh, this, this stairway. This was this was washed out. We filled in uh, uh, about a meter depth deep of of dirt and and to build because the water had actually washed a, a gully this was actually a, a space that was just a ditch a gully that where the water would go running out through the property and, and out the back <coughs> we, we also used some some hogs or some pigs in our in our uh, natural systems uh, production uh, these these little animals uh, Eat a lot of uh, of uh, uh, insects and worms and uh, uh, what's the gusanos? I don't know what uh, term for um, uh, worms. And also they fertilize the ground. So uh, so and and eventually produce uh, a good source of protein for uh, for human consumption. So uh, and I guess it has a lot of dimension to it. Like also to teach the locals how how to take care of animals. Uh, and how to benefit from living, ooh, <laughs> living in, in harmony with uh, with nature and and nature then sustaining us in uh, uh, in return. Um, I think that's probably about it. You see another uh, chicken shelter just down down here. We we work with chickens quite a brother chickens quite a bit. Uh, still a lot more work needs to be done. We'd like to plant more, uh, probably more uh, uh, brachiaria um, and uh, maybe some corn, but. We're quite limited because of shade and, and so forth to, to do well with corn here. But uh, yeah, I think that's...